Yo, what is going on, guys? I'm bringing you the trade day results. Before we start this, I just want to give a huge shout out to Hut Puck Traders for very fast and reliable service. And as you can see, we have 25 trades, which is it's pretty good. It's not amazing, but it's definitely pretty good. We don't have any for Bozak or Niemi. I could sort of see why we don't have any for them, but to be honest, I'm not sure why Callahan has two if they don't have two. But it's fine because the big players that I don't really know if I want to consider we want to trade. I definitely like Getzlaff and Jeru a lot, and it's looking like we may end up trading them. Backstrom is actually sort of someone I want to trade, but I'm not sure if we're going to have any trades with only three there. Hedman's definitely a very good player with the most, so I'm guessing he's going to be traded, but he was definitely a good defenseman, so I'll have to see what we want to do there. But Callahan didn't really use him, just randomly put him up there, so we're going to see what we have for Ryan Callahan. We have an Andrew Ladd, who I don't know what he goes for. Both these guys are sort of similar players. They're both... Powell, I would consider Callahan sort of like a power forward as well, except he's not as big. Yeah, I guess, yeah, he's grinder. I don't know why I said power forward, but, like, both of them are good at checking and defense and stuff like that. Lad's definitely probably someone I would rather have on my team, except Callahan is faster and speed makes a big difference, but I'm not sure what I want to do there. And the other trade we have is Erhoff and Monahan, which already have an Erhoff and already have a Monahan. I'm not sure if I have a lad, but I'm going to reject this trade. And I think I'm going to take the lad. Even if I have him, I mean, I'd, I'd rather just take this trade anyway. And I want to trade. I already have a Callahan, so we'll see what happens here. If I do have a lad, that's good. If I don't, I, I do not have a lad, so that is good. He goes for about 2k. That's fine with me. We'll send him to my collection, and we'll go right back and see what we have for the other trades. The next one we want to do, I would say, is... We'll do Backstrom. Hedman might be worth a bit more, but he's got eight trades, so we'll do Backstrom. Backstrom's probably worth around 25 to 30k. Darren Hellman, 22k. It's not terrible. Not terrible at all. Eric Stahl, Ginlan Hurdle, and Haglin and Lettinen. I'm going to have to say no to this one. Lettinen may be worth like 15k, and with Haglin with two to three, I'm going to say this is like, excuse me and my phone, but this one may be worth like 21k, and I'm on at least 25k. This one. 22k helm is at least 2 to 3k so it's definitely around 25 eric stall again and hurdle i know hurdles like 2k maybe again that's like 3 to 4k i don't know what eric stall goes for so i'm gonna have to probably sadly just take this 22k and uh, helm it's gonna be bad because backstrom is definitely a good player but we're gonna do this because we're getting puck so i thank you whoever sent the trade in i think you could probably get a pretty good deal considering i don't know what helm goes for i don't know where helm is so we're gonna let him stay there and we're gonna move on or we can actually so we're gonna quick sell this real quick and now we're gonna move on and we've got down to 20 trades but we still have a few guys we gotta get rid of uh, i'm gonna have to go with the headman now so we have eight trades on him i want at least 25k for him i don't even think this guy's worth more than 7k so we're gonna obviously reject that one jack johnson eric johnson right wing to left wing eric johnson's only like 3k jack johnson would definitely be a pretty solid player to bring on the team i don't have him but i have an eric johnson so we're not sure about that trade ham houston skinner ham Hughes is like 5 to 6k skinner's like 10k so 15 to 20k there no thank you wow no no comment just just no not at all Phil Pula, 20k here. This is Kyle Turris is maybe a 2k player. Piran, I have no clue with Phil Pula, probably 2 to 3k. This is like a 25k deal. We've got 7.5k Phil Pula again, Skinner again, and Pominville. I don't know what Pominville goes for, but this is also a pretty good trade. And Anderson, who I have no clue what it goes for. I do not want another goalie, especially in Anderson. He's not like a huge name guy out there, so he's not going to have the most value, especially 30k worth. So I don't think we're going to go with that. We've got some pretty good trades here. Uh, this one is no offense, but definitely not. Already have a Giordano and a Cagliano. I think in terms of players who I want the most, it's got to be this one right here, Jack Johnson. But he does not go for a 30K. I mean, I could be wrong, but I'm saying right now, he does not go for 30K. I'm hoping I'm, hoping I'm right here. I'm hoping he only goes for like 15K or so. But we're going to reject this. I'm sorry if he does go for more definitely is a good trade I definitely want Jack Johnson a lot he'd be a great defenseman to put on my team I already have an Eric Johnson I already have like 10 position change teams and no pucks in this so I'm gonna have to reject that this one is literally really good it comes with 20k and some off right players maybe 25k in total this one is 7.5k which Skinner who should be about 10k so it's about 17k Pominville which I don't know what goes for in Philippia this is maybe 19k 
plus Palmanville, which I don't know what goes for. So it could be anywhere from around 20 to 25K. When this one is at least 20K in pucks. And Skinner may have gone down a bit, but in terms of players, I'd obviously rather have this one right here. But I think I'm going to go with the first one because it comes with pucks. So I thank you very much whoever sent this in and the other ones. Obviously, if you send in any trades, it's obviously not a troll trade. I do really appreciate it. We have three things here. Sadly, I'm going to have to actually go through this. But I'm going to do it for the vine and we're just going to quick sell this stuff. Obviously, I can make some actual pucks there by working the market, which I was going to do. But in terms of making this video a bit quicker, we're not going to do that. Okay, so we got the two big guys right here. In terms of what I want to do here, I'd probably rather sell... From last year, I'd obviously rather sell a Getzlaff. But this year, Getzlaff is a really good player. But in terms of if I can get 190 k from him, I'd probably rather trade him if there's a trade there that I'm willing to do. So a Claude Giroux... Ooh. Um, this trade is very good as well. hundred and I'd say Giroux is about 130 right now. Maybe 125 A Ben, a Marlo. It's a very good trade right there. I already have a Gabrick, Neil's not too much, Patriotty's like 20k, we're going to have to reject this one, it's not that great. I like the first trade a lot, uh, okay, this trade is really, really close, and by that I mean not close at all, so we're going to have to reject that one. Um, this trade also is not really close at all either, sorry. This trade right here is not close at all as well, and the last trade is, okay, this is... Uh, so let's let's randomly do it. So I'm going to say 20k for Krejci, 15 for Howard. That is 35 plus the 5k basically down there is about 40. 25 for Hedman. 65 and it's about 10 to 50. Okay, so this is not even 100k, so we're going to have to reject this. And the last vote is obviously going to be accepting this trade. I mean, I think Marlowe's 30k. I think Ben's 80k. That's 120k. Hem, he's around 5 I think we're gonna have to accept this. I mean, Ben's literally the same type of player as Giroux. He's probably a bit quicker. Marlowe's quicker. I would definitely have to accept this. I really, I think this may be, if Ben's 100K, I don't think he is anymore. I think he's dropped to about 70 to 80K and Marlowe's 40. This is a definitely a very good trade and I do really appreciate it. And we're gonna, I wanna check what they're both going for, which we could check right now. Okay, so maybe, maybe not. Ben's about 70K. What's Marlowe going for? This may take a while. You guys are gonna see, oh, so 40K, I mean, like I said, it's not a terrible trade. I definitely think it was definitely good for me in terms of actually wanting a Ben and want to use him on my team. Sadly, Ham Hughes, I'm not going to use him on my team. Obviously, he's already on my team. But Marlowe might make it to the team. I'm not sure how good he is, but he's definitely got some value on him. He's definitely quick and he definitely looks good. So happy there. And we're going to obviously just take care of business right here by quick selling these two. And we got the last trade, which is probably the biggest names that could be here. We have a Ryan Getz left with six trades on him. Hoping we get some good stuff here, and we're going to quickly find out after the short commercial break. And by that, I mean I just grabbed a drink. So let's see what we have. We have a McDonough, which is around 30K. A Kessler, which is around 40, 70. Thornton around 20, so 90. Couture around 20. Uh, McDonough could be about 35. Kessler could be about 50 to 60, but... In terms of how easy these guys are going to sell, all I know is Kessler's price has really, really dropped. And Thornton is not too expensive. McDonough's been about 35k all game so far. But I know Kessler, I sold him for like 100k. And now he's dropped like 40, 50. Uh, let's see what else we have. We have a Price who's around 120, 130. Maybe a bit more. We have, oh, Phil Kessel, who's someone I really, really do want. And Jack Johnson's also someone I really, really do want as well. And we could, if we, ex oh, this one, you get a Giroux. Ah, uh, Giroux. That's, and we get a Jack Johnson as well. This is hard. Zach Paris. Oh my, <laughs> oh, I want all these players. Can I mix and match? Can I pick this Parise? Can I pick this Giroux? And I, can I pick this Kessel? I mean, can, can we do that somehow? Uh, this one's 75k sharp as well. I sort of want, but I already have Landis Gog and Giordano, and I don't want really stall. And sharp would probably not fit the team. I definitely want to replace Getzlaff, so I want a first line guy. I don't think sharp. I'd rather have a Kessel, a Giroux, or a Parise than whoever that just was. Who I just uh, sharp. So sadly, I'm gonna have to reject this one. It's definitely a good offer, probably around 120, 130k, but. I'm probably going to have to reject it because the players and the other ones are definitely more appealing. I I mean, this is probably a good trade, but I'm going to have to probably have to reject it. I don't want a goalie. 
This one I really do want. I know how much of a beast Kessel is. Jack Johnson I want there. This one, well, I won't use Pacioretty, so that'll be 20k pucks. Johnson will make the team, and I'll replace the Drew with the Drew. Bah! And then this one, Parise, I could just sell Pacioretty. I would just sell Stahl, and I just sell Poso. Parise's price has dropped a bit, so I'm going to have to say no to this one. I definitely do want a Parise, but for that, no. Um, You know what? I may have got a better deal with the other one, to be honest. I mean, this one, it's basically like, I think Giroux might be 10 to 15K cheaper than Kessel. I'm hoping Kessel's a bit more than I'm thinking, but we'll see. I also hope Jack Johnson's at least like 10 to 15K, but we're going to take this trade. I'm really sorry, Ryan Getzlaff, but you're no longer part of the Deacus tree for now anyway. You were a really good player, but I know for a fact I'm going to love Phil Kessel. So Phil Kessel, welcome to the team, and let's see what they were both worth. Okay, so I'm hoping Kessel's at least 145, 150k. We have a 150k for Kessel and only 10k for Jack Johnson. And wow, there's a lot of them up. And uh, low price, 2,200. Not bad, not bad. I mean, so I could probably just sell him for that right now. And he should sell. But 150k, he'll probably make the team. Well, I'd say a 160k for my gets left, which I did buy for 130k a long time ago. And by a long time ago, I mean like three, four weeks ago, but his prices went up to like 170, 180. But in this trade wasn't terrible. I might have lost 10k or so, but I got a player who I really did want. So we're going to quickly quick sell these two guys right here. Let me just know how that would have been great. We're going to send in my collection, and that's going to be the end of the Deacus Tree episode. Well, the trade day. We didn't sell the Bozek or the Niemi, but. To be honest, I wasn't expecting really, but I do really appreciate the trades. I was not expecting, I did not go into this thinking I was going to accept any trades, and we literally accepted every single one, and I do want to thank you guys for sending in trades, especially the ones I accepted because those were the best ones there, but thank you for all the trades. There are definitely a lot of hard ones, and I definitely appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. This is giving me more hope to do more trade days. I'm hoping I could do more players in the trade days and get more trades because that makes it more entertaining for you guys as well as give me more options to do and make the videos for you guys. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It honestly does mean a lot, and I will see you guys next time.